Hello, Fan Network. I'm reporting from the Marmara Regional. Today, I'm with the Bosporus Regional Finals 64-59 AG Robotic. And today, I'm with Berk, Zelen, Jan, and Sarp. And we will have a great time. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. Berk, can you talk about your drivetrain and your fabulous intake as well? So starting at this season, we uh, on our strategy, we uh, choose that our uh, robot must have a high speed and a high uh, turning speed. So we make sure our drivetrain is a swirl drive. So uh, on our strategy, we uh, say that we need to make a ground intake. So uh, that's why we need to have a good space on our front of the robot. So for the front modules, we use MK4N modules and the back of our robot, we use normal MK4I uh, swirl modules. But we have an issue with that because MK4M modules has a low reduction uh, besides the back of our uh, modules. So uh, we machined uh, custom plates to make our uh, turning motors to uh, pivot the center of our uh, and uh, make the gear reduction same. Uh, so with that, we have a stabilized drive train and a good turning speed. Uh, so, fantastic. So can you show uh, your intake, how it's deployed, how it takes corals as well? We are very curious about it. You can take corals from every angle and you, if you can show us, it will be really great. So on our prototypes, we see that uh, we need to make a four bar intake. With the four bar, we can have the best accuracy on our angles and uh, our speed. We powered it uh, with a one Falcon motor and uh, powered with a chain uh, and also we powered our rollers with the same shaft and uh, we have a high speed rollers with the front rollers we use three inch uh, vex flex wheels uh, and we add them a slot to uh, have a good grip on every angle of the coral uh, and the back uh, rollers we cut all the two inch wheels and uh, make them a star to make uh, also a good grip on coral. Thank you, Berk. So, Zeren, we talk about the elevator for us. Uh, so, as you know, uh, the reefs uh, are very tall this season. Uh, so, we made a, a three plus one stage uh, continuous belted elevator. Uh, the, belt, the belt we used uh, is nine meters long. Um, and here you can see our belt, uh, uh, belt tensioners. Uh, nearly every part of our robot uh, was uh, manufactured in our CNC machines, uh, which took many hours. Uh, we made this to reduce weight of our robot. Also, you can see our uh, supporters here. Uh, these and these are the supporters um, to, redu uh, to balance our robot. Thank you, thank you so much. So, John will talk about the arm for us. Yep, uh, so when we intake a uh, coral, that we need to make sure that our gripper is safe to uh, pick it up and place it onto the reef. So, uh, we have a, a gripper powered by Falcon, Falcon with a, a nearly 90 to 1 ratio um, with them so it has two closed loop chain chain loops and we have a cam tensioner right over here and over there um, 
so we nearly have uh, to have nearly zero uh, backlash. We didn't have some chim tapes, but we used some can cans to, you know, uh, replicate the chim tape. Um, let me talk about the gripper as well. Uh, we powered by Neo 550s, like the uh, mini ones. Uh, it has five to one ratio and. Uh, it has a sensor to uh, understand that it has a coral. Uh, also, our feeder has uh, a, some kind of an angle to make sure that gripper is safe to uh, grab the coral. And you know, when we need to intake it, it just goes down, takes it up, and gets back up. And we also have uh, 200, 270 degrees to score on uh, all of the levels amazing seeing how you take the corals from the ground from all of the angles and also like uh, getting them from the human players as well so Sarp can you talk about how you get the corals from the human player not from the ground with your great hopper so uh, this funnel is for the human station uh, in our strategy we use uh, human station uh, we use just the human station for the autonomous period in our tally up, we use the uh, ground intake, so it's just important as the uh, ground intake. Uh, this human, uh, uh, this funnel is uh, our second try. So in our first uh, fun funnel, we, we made a slide level linear funnel, and in our first uh, regional, we thought that uh, it did, that it has some problems, so we changed it to a wider and more slideable. Uh, funnel and it's more uh, it has more accuracy and it's better than the old one. So uh, these bands, uh, these rubber bands are uh, for the closing the pon uh, funnel every time because if uh, anything happens to our motor, uh, this funnel won't close and uh, it will block the views of these limelights here. We use a 16 to 1 gear ratio Falcon 500 to uh, power the funnel and that's it. Thank you so much. So in the field, I saw that you guys are auto aligning, auto scoring, doing all those things as well. So can you talk more about your software? How you guys do it? How you uh, improve your localization and such things? How you use the limelights for this game? So we have two limelights, limelight 3Gs for good alignment and uh, scoring the reef as accuracy as possible. So we use two of them at the both of our both sides of the robot, and with that we can uh, auto align to two sides of the reef and have an accuracy like 90 percent. And also on our robot, we are uh, all systems are fully automated. We have two sensors on our intake and also on our feeder. Uh, with these sensors, we um, get the position of the coral uh, and uh, make the, all the robot states uh, very fast and uh, good. And also in the autonomous and the teleop, the system works the uh, same and uh, it has a uh, like uh, 100 accuracy uh, working system. Um, so, uh, you early earlier you said that you guys are not using the pause estimation and you guys went with the root of using the lime net values like their degrees for the software so uh we know that you guys were doing that uh, last year as well so are you guys happy with that route like are you guys having like good results with that so in the starting of the bosphorus regional we have some issues and we fix them all we use uh, like the angle of the x-axis and area for good uh, y-axis and x-axis uh, alignment uh, thank you thank you so much so it was really great to hear about this robot so best of luck for your playoffs as well it was behind the bumpers and see you next time thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos for over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.
Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started.